Okay, somebody please explain this to me. I have 32 gigs of RAM installed, but it's only recognizing 24. It is not recognizing these two memory cards. Even though these memory cards work perfectly fine because they were just in the in these two slots over here. And now I've swapped these two memory cards over here and they work fine. So why is it that the memory card slots themselves seem to be died? Hmm. I know for a fact that there's a memory OK button, so let let's hit it. Let's poke it. Maybe it needs to be on to do it. Yep. So I poked the memory OK button. It's now going to reboot. Let's see how many gigs of stuff we have. Not sure if that will get my overclock off or not. I guess there's only one way to find out. Nope, still recognizing 24 gigs of RAM. Okay. Why is that? Okay, first of all, this is a brand new kit of memory. There's no getting around it. So I have these two and these two. They're Mushkin memory kits. And they all seem to work just fine and dandy, except for this point here. Just why is it not working? Do I have something turned off? Is something disabled? I wouldn't think so. Most inconvenient memory system of all time. Good thing I'm changing out a couple components here in a bit to make it hopefully all a lot easier to access. I need to use a freaking PCI uh, cover thing to get at the slots there. But yep, there goes the G-Sco. They're out. Powering up. Perhaps it's time for a new motherboard. <laughs> okay, now it's just not recognizing the entire right side at all. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so something is up. It is not recognizing the channels at all. Okay, do those memory slots even work there? Let's let's take out these. Let's take out all but four gigabytes. Actually, let's leave one stick in the far right over here so that it will recognize if there is any. And if it boots and it shows, that'll be good. There we go. All right. Project Bolide running on single channel memory. Let's see if you post. If it doesn't post, then we know that those memory cards are either bad or some memory channel thing is like making no sense to me.
it does post, or at least showing video. We'll get to BIOS and show the memory intact. <laughs> okay. That actually tells me quite a bit. Why is the memory card farther to the right there? Like, if you look at it on the screen, it should be like this. Like, this would be the bottom, those would be the top. So why is this... Okay, so... So the inside cards are the one that, ones that were not being recognized. Okay. We find out something new every single time we turn on the computer. I probably will end up getting the new X99 EWS one with a 3.1 and USB C port since those are cool, right? Let's put it in the gray slot. I always hated this that kind of thing because they don't go in evenly ever. Alright, now let's see if it posts. It made a beep. Alright, yeah, it's, it's recognizing there's nothing wrong with the port. Okay, let's try adding another. Um, let's make the right side completely mushkin. Or actually, let's see if it'll recognize if I throw in a rip jaws, since that seems to be an issue. I do apologize if you can't see much, but... I'm actually using the phone's light to see myself. Well, to see for myself, not to see myself. You get it. Alright. There we go. That should be in enough. So, can a Mushkin and Rip Jaws work in tandem and be friends? I hope to find out. I also wish this machine posted faster because seeing. The G-Force thing up there for 10 seconds, then the issues thing for 10 seconds, makes booting up actually quite a hassle. I know, 34 seconds to boot up. What the tragedy! Okay, it, it is recognizing the g skill and the Rip Jaws, working in tandem. Alright, uh, let's fill up the rest of the bays. So in order to get it to work in tandem, in theory, one thing that really aggravated me when I first got the system is that the memory card pins are like flipped over. It's not like that for X79. They do it just to confuse me and rip my motherboard apart. Not quite in there. Still not in there. Try again. So, how are you guys liking Project Envy? I think it's coming out pretty... Okay, that is not clicking in. I think it's coming out pretty good. The only thing left to do is get a bunch of hard drives. That will be the only thing 
not set to the time period of 2009-2010 when the case came out. The engine. So, as I said, there we go, it's finally clicked in. As I said, I want it to be more of a home network or a game storage server. So that it can, you know, free up some space on Project, Project Bullseye so I can offload some stuff. Because it actually is using a majority of its uh, 4 terabytes of space right now. Most of it is game footage, but that's besides the point. All right, do you show all, all your memory? In theory, you have 16 gigabytes. Alright, it is showing all of the, what, why is it showing that as a mushkin? Nope, because it's not a cheese skill, of course, but whatever, it showed it as working, I'm going to leave it at that. Now what happens if we add two more memory cards, one on each side? And there we go. That is a G skill. So let's add another G skill for the other side. If this doesn't work, I'm going to put all memory cards onto the right side to see if it works like that. Hang on, I'm running low on space, gotta free some stuff up. Okay, I didn't free up much space, but now the third memory card on each row is filled up. Let's see if it shows all the memory. In theory, we have 24 gigs now. So we saw before that individually all memory cards on the right side were being recognized, but for some reason before, they were not being shown working together. And we are still at only 16 gigabytes of memory. Okay. Why is that? I have both a rip draws and a rip draws in the exact same memory card slots. But hold on, now it's not recognizing either of those. Hmm. It's not recognizing either of the new G-Skull uh, cards I threw in there. Um. What happens if I toss another one in, into the left side? Will be mildly difficult. Because every other card is filled up. There we go. Alright, that did not click in. I'll try again. Oh no, that probably broke everything. It broke the Hall of Fame, it broke the memory card, broke the CPU, broke the power supply. Calling it now. Oh no, what a tragedy. It's not like I don't have another one of these things coming in. Oh wait, I don't, because they're completely out of stock. Oh crap. 
All right, bottom one should click in, hopefully. And there we go. That's the top one. You can see if it recognizes all A and B slots. Nope, still not recognizing. And then filling up all the slots. Let's see what happens. I have more DDR4 memory cards I can throw in here to test out. But the fact of the matter is that Seems like they're all recognizing, it leads me to believe that, of course, the motherboard has died. Well, not completely, but you know, not like it should be. It says press delete or F2, but in reality, you just smash it and hope it works. Okay, it is recognizing all of the memory cards on the right side now. But the top two here, or I guess these two, since it's kind of swapped around for some inexplicable reason, are not being recognized. Hmm... Let us try to swap them around, see if I can't trick the system into seeing them as being cool. Yep, I do have more G Skull memory I could throw in here. So if that is the case, I shall get those, or at least one of them, and swap it in for uh, one of these so that it's Muskin G skull, Muskin G skull, because that might be the reason why. Even though, in theory, they all have the same timings, voltages, and checkpoints. Other scientific, scientific sounding words. Uh, it would help if I had it in the correct orientation. Installing memory is a lot easier with the board on the table than in the computer. Let's click in. I swap the memory cards around. Will it do anything? There we go. I thought it wouldn't post for a second. Nope. Okay. I am going to go steal one of the DDR, DDR4 cards from Project Puny and replace it with this memory card. So that it's in the same order of Muskin, G Skull, Muskin, G Skull. Because now it's Muskin, Muskin, G Skull, Muskin. <laughs> Lots of weird names, I know. But I guess there's nothing much you can do about it. So I got this card. Let's steal one from Project Puny. 
Okay, I have stolen a red grip charge from Project Puny. And other than the color of the heatsink, it should all be good to go in theory. In theory, if I get it in the correct orientation, because once again, the pins are different on each side, which is really annoying. There's the bottom. There's the top. Okay. Do you show all 32? Or at least, you know, 30? Or 28, I guess, in this case. Do you post? Yep. Project Bolide is a never ending train of hazards. And no, still not recognizing all of the memory. Why not? Why not? Someone please tell me why not. There's no reason for it. Because before, it wasn't showing over here. Now it's showing. Now it's not showing over here. At least give me a clear-cut reason why it's not showing. Now, last thing I can try to do is swap around the Mushkin and the G-Skill. So, it'll be... Mushkin, G-Skull, G-Skull, Mushkin. I will say I'm getting a lot better at installing these kinds of memory cards after doing this 34 times. There we go. Thought it would not post, but I guess it is. No, still no, still not recognizing. Wait, what? Okay, so it is the top cards up here. I just realized that there's a little diagram there. So then 1A, 1-2, or A1, A2, and then B, B1, B2. So the A cars are not recognizing now. All right, I, I will swap the Mushkin and the Red G skill. See if that makes a difference. I'm not entirely sure how much space I have left, so I will get back to you when that's done. Okay, that plan did not work, but now, all g -Skill, all Mushkin. Let's see what happens. Instead, when I did that, it showed the B cards not being recognized, which is extremely odd. I seriously wish this was faster. Why is this like this? I know there's got to be a way to speed this up. But I don't want to install Windows 10 or 8.1. Okay, now, now once again, it's not showing the memory cards over here. Just, why not? Please work. Why don't you work? Yeah, we know for a fact that all the memory cards work. They've all worked in their own slots at this point. But why doesn't it just work?
I, <laughs> I don't have anything else left to try, I don't think. Um, I could take the other G-Skill card, throw it in there, but what good would that do? I guess only one way to find out. Let me get the other G-Skill. Okay, I have the other G-Skill card. So, let's see if installing it will solve even 1% of our issues. Really need to rework the pump wiring around here so that it's not in the way of everything in the history of, of everything ever. Bottom, top, power up, question mark. So for some inexplicable reason, this memory card or the one next to it, I don't know which one it would be, because the uh, page here says there is the C port, but then the motherboard says it's actually the D port, which is actually swapped around because it's backwards. I don't know. <laughs> but it's working. I am not going to complain at this point. I think I did a good job. Um, I suppose it's time to start setting the rest of the case up. I got to get these bottom fans out of here, move that Wi-Fi card down and tape it back to the power supply like I did before. Yes, I did have it taped down there. Uh, when I had two uh, Hall of Fame 980s, not uh, 980 Ti's. I had them right up against each other and was planning to put a third. But then money issues happened and I had to sell both the cards and the 5960X. But now, it seems like we're good to go almost. So yeah, it's finally recognizing all of its memory. It's not going at full speed though. So AI tweaker, memory frequency 2400, yep, that's what I have it as to keep it stable because 4.4 gigahertz overclock plus 2800 or even a memory overclock, <sighs> not, I'll tell you, it's not stable, but 2400 is a good speed. Um, yeah, only thing left to do is install the other Mushkin into Project Puny because that's gonna have the be like that for now With two Mushkins, there's nothing wrong with Mushkin just for some reason it doesn't want to cooperate Cooperate with the G skill cards I have right now And it would really help if I didn't have one dead G skill card Yep, I had one card. I was just completely dead. It would not recognize in any of the ports So yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this really long video, then please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And pretty soon, that name is going to become irrelevant. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.